What do you say? Come on, let's have a trade. Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Sheep Hustler. Sheep Hustler is for two to six players, takes about a half an hour to play, and is a game in which you're going to be trying to herd sheep together into your hand. You're going to basically be taking cards into your hand and from your tableau, switching it around to make a specific combination of cards. There's different winning pens in which you're going to need to uh, accumulate specific types of sheep, specific numbers, and specific colors. If you can do that and have them at the end of your turn, you're going to win the game. It's a very simple game with a lot of different options involved in what you're going to be doing and how you're going to be playing them. You'll be able to use cards from the pen and putting them into your hand and back and forth, utilizing actions from special cards and special sheep, placing them down and trying to uh, steal from your opponents as well as acquiring fences to make sure you can herd all those sheep in. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what's in Sheep Herder and everything you get when you back the game. Also, hey, hey, stay back, okay? So here we have Sheep Hustler and everything included in the game. As you see, it's going to come with a box as well as some rules and a deck of cards. Not only that, it'll also come with little baby sheeples or sheep meeples, depending on what you want to call them, and of course some reference cards. In the game, you're basically going to be getting a deck of cards that consists of different colored sheep along with fences and some special unique characters like a black sheep here, a sheep dog, and uh, some other interesting unique things. Uh, these things I think are front and back. They come with different explanations as to how cards work along with the fact that there's a main specific card called sheepdogs these will allow you to steal from your opponents as well as allow you to take cards from the discard pile and whatnot you can also use them to counter different cards but this is basically what you're going to get in the game sheep hustler all right let's come up and i'll tell you how to play in the game sheep hustler you're going to be getting four cards face down or in your hand and two cards face up you'll have your paddock which is your face up stuff and your flock which is going to be your hand you'll be utilizing special cards such as these four, the Wolf, Metal Fence, Shaggy Sheepdog, and Sheep Rustler, and then your main special card, which is the Sheep Dogs. They're basically kind of like wilds in which they can take from your opponent's hand or from their face-up tableau, as well as taking from the discard pile as well. And what you're trying to do is gather a winning pen for the end of your turn, and if you can do that, you can win. There's three of them here listed, and they're basically going to influence either uh, first A, two specific fences, and then you're going to need a specific set of cards and numbers, whether it be the same number of different colors or alternating numbers uh, going in, uh, in, in ascending or descending order, one, two, three, four, or all of the same uh, color with the corresponding numbers, one, two, three, four, as well. Uh, there's another one as well, but you're basically trying to attempt to get one of these sets in order to win the game. On your turn, you're going to be utilizing a card or cards from your hand. You can choose to either play an action or discard one, two, three, or even four cards from your hand and draw up from the deck. You could also choose to discard from your paddock. Another interesting thing about this game is you could choose to switch from your paddock to your flock at any point any number of cards. When you do that, you're going to take those cards to your hand. It can be done on your turn or on anybody else's turn. Your objective is to try and keep the cards you need into your hand and on the and on your paddock, or your flock, and your paddock, and trying to gather the required resources in order to win. Now, of course, your opponents are trying to do the same thing, and they're going to try and stop you at any point as soon as they know what type of cards you need. So making sure the cards that are facing up are not as important uh, or as needed to know information is going to be very vital because the game can be over very 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 quickly if you are uh, skilled enough and or lucky enough to get the cards you need but the idea is pretty simple you're going to be utilizing actions and cards to try and get the specific winning set in order to win the game of sheep hustler anyway we'll go down and i will show you the setup of the game as well as how to play a couple turns of the game and basically the winning hands how they work so here we have the game sheep hustler all set up for two players along with the winning hand combinations that you want to have in your pens and in your uh, other location, your uh, paddock, so paddock and flock. And if you do have those combinations, you win. These are the four. The first one here is alternating one, two, three, four with a blue and green, and of course two fences. This one here is all the same color, one, two, three, and four with two fences. And then these ones here are separated by this number because there's only enough to um, make three sets. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys anyway. One, two, three, and four of all 
different colors, and then two pens, and then this is all fours, so four of a kind in fours of different colors and two pens as well. Just to give you an idea of how you're gonna need to win the game, I'll then go ahead and take these cards and I will shuffle them into this deck here so that I can show you a couple of turns of how the game works. Just go ahead and give it one more good shuffle here. All right, there we go. So now, now as you see here, it's all set up and ready to go. People are going to have their face down cards, so only you're going to be able to see your cards here, but you won't see your opponent's cards. And on your turn, you can either uh, discard cards from your hand or from your face-up tableau, and you're trying to, of course, make these winning pen conditions. If you choose to play an action, which you can choose to do, you'll be able to utilize it. So for instance, this one here says you can take uh, from a flock. Uh, it's that little specific card here. Uh, these cards here are the sheepdogs and they're going to allow you to basically uh, take a card from either here or here. They can also let you take cards from a discard pile and if somebody plays it on you, you can choose if you have one in your hand to stop that. So for instance, if I wanted this one here, I could go ahead and play this card on my turn and of course this would go to my hand unless the player decided to play this card here, stopping that card. Both of us would then go ahead and draw an extra card into our hands and this would not happen if, for instance, I did not have a sheepdog in this hand, this would then go to his hand. Okay, so after that he would be done, that would be his turn. And then on my turn, or this player's turn, you go ahead and look at his hand, he says, okay, I only need two of these fences here, I do not need this, I'll take this wild here and put it in my hand, or the sheepdog, and then I'm going to go ahead and discard this fence, and then draw up to my hand size of four, now I got an extra wild here. Now it's going to be this player's turn here, like I said, you can either discard from here, here, you can always switch between these things, uh, depending on uh, well, at any time during your turn, or on your opponent's turn, and you can of course utilize any of your special abilities, which are going to be these things here, uh, but I of course don't have enough to start making my combination, so I'll put this into my hand, I'll place this out, and maybe I want threes, so I'm just going to go ahead and actually get rid of these guys here, and draw up to two cards here, bam, uh, two more doggies, alright, now that would end his turn, and then it'd be the next player's turn, he's going to go ahead and look, he says, okay, I have a one and a two of different colors, I want maybe three and four different colors too, so I can either choose to, uh, I could choose to doggy this to try and get this into my hand. That'll give you one, two, and three. And this player could choose to stop me. And if he did that, we would both discard these cards here. And then, bam, another card to go into our hand. I just got a one here. Maybe I want to go for ones. That could be the case as well. This player would then take his turn. Maybe he instead wants to go ahead and just discard these doggies here. He doesn't want to actually use them, utilize them. Maybe he doesn't need these cards here. And he wants to just try and pull for those threes. And there we go. So now he actually has more options if he wanted to. He could go for or one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, and then try and go for a different color four. So maybe he would go ahead and get rid of these ones here, and then he could do do something like that. But that's the basic idea of the game. You're going to be continuing going back and forth, trying to utilize uh, the cards in your hand as actions or discarding cards from either here or here, moving them back and forth to obtain your winning pens. As soon as you can do that at the end of your turn, if you have the winning pen, you're going to win the game. And uh, it, it's fairly simple as far as that goes. So hopefully he pulls it off. No, maybe he wants to go and search to somebody's you know, pull a card from somebody's hand, uh, find a card. There's a lot of things you can choose to do. In this case, when you we use this card, I think it's more of like a, uh, oh, do you have a three or do you have a yellow? And in which case, they'd have to go ahead and give you one if you did have one. But if you're able to obtain this, you're going to win the game. And, that, and that's basically how you play the game Sheep Hustler. All right, so let's come up and talk about what I think about the game. So a couple caveats too. Now, the first one is I almost goofed, but I didn't. When you are using your sheep dog to try and pull from somebody's hand, you have to do a kind of a go fish thing. You're going to ask for a color or a number. And if they do have that, they'll have to give it to you and that can help you potentially win the game by getting the color or number that you need in order to complete your sequence and another thing is whenever you discard a fence or fences you can choose to shuffle the discard pile back into the deck which will help you get the cards you may need from the discard pile especially when there's more players in the game once you get your set you win okay so sheep hustler is basically a simplistic style tableau hand management game. You're basically going to be utilizing the cards in your hand to show your opponent what you have on the field by st and, and still trying to mess with them and make them think something uh, is not as it seems. Maybe you want to put cards that you actually don't need in front of you, but then if you do that, you're not going to be able to discard them and get new cards. So it's kind of going to be up to you. It plays two to six players, and in a two-player game, it goes back and forth, and they're very quick games, and you know, somebody's going to win probably in like 10 minutes at max. But when you play with six players, it gets even more crazy even more uh, hilariously nuts. You don't know what's going to happen or who's going to play what or what cards people are going to go for. And there's only enough cards in the deck to have maybe like 15 cards or so. So you'll be shuffling those cards up and a lot of them will be wilds until 
you're going to get the cards you need eventually, right? Um, this game definitely works better with more players. It is a kid-friendly game, it's a family game, and it's very simple. But simple is not necessarily bad. Uh, if you're a person who enjoys games that have a very simple feel to them, but yet is enough to get maybe an eight-year-old to play the game with you, it has uh, this... Not Uno necessarily, but it feels like something, any kid that plays those kind of games is going to be able to jump into a game like this. It has a bit of strategy as well as to what cards you're going to play and how you're going to play them and when you're going to want to draw certain cards, as well as what cards you're going to want to put on the field is, and keep in your hand. And then you also have the Sheepdogs, which adds the most amount of strategy in my opinion because there's so many options with these guys and what you can do with them is going to make a big difference in the game as to how you're going to win or not. Sometimes they're worth keeping, sometimes you want to get rid of them, sometimes utilizing the actions on these cards is going to be good. They're gonna let you have players discard cards you're gonna try and slow your opponents down while at the same time increasing your odds of winning the game um there are i guess i guess there is a small negative in the game in which when you start playing there's a potential that you could instantly win right you could just get the exact combo you need it doesn't happen very often in fact of the games we play i think we played about 10 of these games uh with different various players uh and nobody ever started with the hand but i'm certain that that can happen or if not you can win in a couple rounds and there's not much an opponent can do to stop that or know whether or not you're going to actually have the required cards. It's always best in this game when it plays a little longer, which is what makes it more and more interesting, trying to determine what your opponent needs, what they have, and how they're going to get it. And if you do figure out what your opponent needs, or somebody figures out what you need, you can then start utilizing your cards to get rid of them and try and switch up your play style. Maybe you want to get a different type. Another interesting thing to note is in the rules, if you read it, it'll explain to you that if you've played the game before, you can choose to change the rules up by making these guys not able to allow you to draw from the discard pile, which makes the game a little more strategic and how you discard fences to utilize that shuffling of the deck and discard pile back together. And also it limits the amount of different sets or pens you can, uh, you're going to need in order to win the game. It'll get rid of two of the more easy ones to get, and it makes... Uh, you have to get the sets a little more difficult. So it puts a little more challenge into the game, which is nice, especially if you're going to play with people that are uh, over the age of probably like 13, I would say. But it does give an all-around feel. It's a game that's going to be light and quick and fun and fast. And if this game seems like it's something for you, I would definitely check it out. It has decent artwork. I would say it's like kid-friendly... Oh, exploding kittens kind of a feel to it almost. Uh, and it has, of course, it's just mainly like little pictures with numbers on it. Uh, overall, it's fun. It's an enjoyable little kid game. It's definitely one I'm going to bring out with my, whenever I have little kids over, I'm going to definitely bring out with Kira and see what she thinks about the game. It's cute. It's fun. It's kid friendly. It's something that I would definitely recommend. Do check it out. Sheep Hustler, if it sounds like something you and your family would be interested in taking a look at. For those of you who are uh, even more deeply strategic minded, maybe not for you. If you want something that's a little more in depth, a little more thick. This is probably one you want to pass on. But uh, overall, a nice family friendly game. Sheep Hustler down below in the description if it's something that you might want to back. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. If you like the uh, video, if you want to check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube, like, subscribe, and comment. It all does help. We do greatly appreciate it. As well as taking a look at Sheep Hustler, which will be on Kickstarter in the description below. You can go ahead and take a peek at the game and see if it's something that you and your family would enjoy. This is definitely one of those games I feel like. Uh, it's a good, quick, family-oriented game, or even people that are not necessarily into the games or gamers. It's a good stepping stone type of game that shows tableau management and hand management in an easy and unique way. Uh, I. I, I probably would play this game with kids. I probably wouldn't jump it out and throw it with, uh, with, with all of the adults, but that would be up to you. My opinions are my own, and really you should make up your mind for yourself by taking a look at that campaign and seeing if it's something you should back. All right, guys, that's all I got this time. Don't, ch don't forget to check out the website and all that good stuff. Lots of giveaways going on and our Halloween list out for this month, as well as nothingboardgames.com and the Giveaway Geek. All right, that's all I got this time, and as always, I look forward to sheeping and hustling with you.